When Atelier was pregnant, it was some things that occurred that looked it real fishy. And she said, I have no proof, but I only have what I seen. I had seen her ex at his local store. Uh, he was staring at me. I did not notice him until I looked at him and I'm like, oh, I realized that was her ex. And he ran out immediately and we chased him to the car. And the same car we seen that he hopped in was in front of my house two days later. And I wanted to ask him, was he messing with my girl? But I didn't have the guts to do it. And he left before I could even ask. She started accusing me, calling me crazy. And I was extremely mad because I felt like she was playing me and manipulating me during the pregnancy. And that really hurt me bad. And we got into a huge fight and she started accusing me of cheating and stuff like that. And she broke my phone, and, you know, beat me up, abused me, and still blamed me. And I started to feel like she was cheating on me because she was projecting her feelings on me. But she had split it up with me. Because she was pregnant at the time, I started to wonder, was the baby really mine? Around that same time, when I started to suspect she was cheating, uh, we had casual sex, and after we had sex, I had a burning sensation. She told me, have I ever heard Camellia? And I said, no, and she started accusing me, like I, I was doing something, and this is after the fact of what I seen. So I start to assume that she was doing something. I was there when the baby was born. I was at the hospital actually, but I couldn't control my emotions because I was still traumatized about what happened and it hurt me, but I was still there for my daughter and I watched her enter the world and it just hurted me more to just, you know, see her come out and me and her mom not being a family. I was just assuming the baby was in mine because I was looking at the features and at this point I'm just baffled. I don't know if the baby's mine or not, but I still love and care for the baby. If she fails her lie detector test, uh, we could still continue to co-parenting if the baby is mine. I won't waste my time being in a relationship where besides being a father for the baby. Uh, Antelay, your boyfriend believes that you cheated on him while you were pregnant. Mm, I never did that. He's lying. I wanted to keep my pregnancy a secret because his family, they don't like me, you know. Um, I don't know why they don't like me. We got along in the beginning, then after a while, like things started getting really crazy amongst me and his family members. But um, he ended up telling his family that I was pregnant and I, I already knew it was gonna be like downhill after that. Like they started telling him, you're gonna be a single dad, you're gonna be a single dad. He would come home, he will be anxiety, like I'm gonna be a single father. And I'm like, why would you be a single father if I'm right here with you, you know? Sorry. <laughs> Months went by and he would just always argue with me, like all the time, like you're cheating on me, you're cheating on me. I would go to the gym, this is before I got pregnant. I, I think I was pregnant at the time, because when I would go to the gym at that time, I would be like out of breath, like, and stuff like that. He'd be like, you're cheating on me, you're going to the gym, cheating on me with people at the gym and stuff like that. And I'm like, why would I be doing that? Just come with me to the gym, you know? He never wanted to come. Months went down the line, I found out I was pregnant. Okay, things are going good. He still was accusing me of cheating. I'm like, what am I doing that's making you think that I'm cheating? I'm coming to work, I'm coming home. You know, I can't go to the gym anymore. I'm always in the house now, you know, I'm pregnant. Do you even really want this baby? Cause you know, he's younger than me. I'm a little older. So I didn't want to put that responsibility on him. So I offered him like, maybe I should get an abortion. I was like, at least like a month to two months pregnant. But I can get an abortion still, still a little early if you don't want this baby. He got on his knees, he's crying. Oh, I want to keep the baby, this, that, and third. So I'm like, okay, well, you got to stop accusing me of cheating and stressing me out, you know? So I was really depressed during my pregnancy. I, in the beginning, I felt like I was ugly and stuff like that. I was starting to gain weight, you know, my face started changing. So, you know, I was going through that. And then he was also always accusing me of cheating for no reason. This is before everything, this way before that. So I'm, I got frustrated while I was at work and I'm like, you know what, I don't want to be with you no more. I don't want to be with you no more. Do you want to be single or something? Because you keep constantly like accusing me of cheating. It was, it was like a compulsive thing I did, but I didn't really mean it. So, you know, that night we came back home, we talked about it. And, you know, we was like, we're going to work on, you know, our insecurities, but mainly his, because he was always accusing me. And I thought things was fine. Well, it really wasn't because behind my back, he really went out there and started acting single. Oh, know? he started sleeping with other people? Yeah, he started acting single. I didn't know about the sleeping part, but I noticed he was like going out, being out to like four in the morning, 
He wasn't answering my calls. Um, then when I he'll answer the call, he be like, I'll call you right back. I'll call you right back. And I'm, I, you know, I'm at home now. I'm crying because I'm like, I could feel in my heart that he's doing something, but I just have no proof. So one well, night, staying out till four in the morning. What the hell are you doing? Right, right. So one night he comes in, one of his little four in the morning nights, right? And I'm sleeping. He comes in. He's like, he stops in front of the bed. He's like, you were right. He was like, one day I'm gonna tell you. So you know, I sit up. I'm like. Write about what? Now I'm getting angry. So I'm like, write about what? You know? So he goes to sleep, and I just couldn't go to sleep. Cause I'm like, I just kept hearing him say, you're right. You know how you know, keep repeating things? I got up, I go in the living room, check his phone. All the proof, all the proof. Him and another woman, they were texting, and they were saying explicit things to each other, and he was telling her he was over the relationship. Mind you, we're still living together. I'm still pregnant, and you just told me you love me and, you know, lay down, cuddle with you. So why are you telling this girl that you're moving on and all this other stuff? Right. So that's that's when, you know, that's when all the mess started. You said on the tape that you beat him up. I did. Hello. <laughs> I did. While you were I'm, pregnant? Yeah, I snapped. I snapped. Like, How'd once you beat I, him up? Okay, so once I found the text in the phone, it's, I felt like this rage come inside of me. Like, I put the phone down. And I yelled his name. I said, Justin. And he didn't hear me because he was drunk. So I went over there. I smacked him in his head. That's when he popped up. And I just started screaming, da 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 And then I ran in the kitchen. I grabbed the milk. And I just started throwing it in his face. I'm like, you cheater? Oh, my God. <sighs> I was just freaking out. I threw juice, milk, water. Like, it was just stuff. Because I couldn't hit him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and even if I do hit him, like, what's my head going to do to a man? Yeah. Like, and then he says... He had a burning sensation after having sex with you. I think he got that from the woman he was cheating on me with. Oh, so you believe he had something yeah, just he got not the, from you? Yeah, just not from me. He's nine years younger than you. Yeah. You didn't yeah. think this dude's a little too young for me? We became friends first, and yeah, I started like catching feelings, but I didn't take it serious. Like, yeah. I didn't know like he was taking me serious. Cause I'm like, you know, you're younger than me, so like we're just gonna be friends. Like, but. One day I told one of my family members, I was like, no, that's just my friend. And he got upset about that. We went to the hallway and we talked about it. I'm like, I don't think like you're ready for a relationship or anything like that. And he was like, I really like you and I want to see where it goes and stuff. But, you, but and, and listen, it's not like a huge uh, age gap or anything, but like when it comes with women and men and mm -hmm. the men being younger, especially when they're like 19 or whatever, they're usually immature, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And women are much more, they mature much faster. Mm -hmm. But it, when I met him, he wasn't given immature vibes. That's the, that's the crazy part. He was really mature, very respectful. I would say he's more immature now. It's weird. How is he as a father? Um, in the beginning, because of all the family members and the friends that was in his ear, he was in and out. Um, he wasn't paying no attention to the baby like that. And then he'll, he'll be like, looking at the baby like, I don't think that's mine. It was just really bad. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a way. Come on, man. You know you're lying. You're a liar. Man. You know you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You know you're lying. You're lying. You're a cheater. Wow. You're a cheater. It's crazy. You're a cheater. All right. You're a cheater. I'm a cheater, right? You're a cheater. The and, same a right. and a charmer. The same and a charmer. 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 Yeah, I can't speak. I don't know what to say. Wait a second. You're from Jersey, right? Yeah, North New Jersey. And you got LA tattooed on your neck? Yeah, I like the Dodgers. So That's not even Damn. LA. Damn. And it's so for her initials, wow, of course. Wow, you're lying. You see the lies. The lies. It's, really, it's I my initials. I just said it for her initials, of course. Yeah. Because I go by Leia for sure. It's subliminal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're here because you have a lot of trust issues with her, right? Yeah, just one specific trust issue. That's it. What was, and what is that? It's the guy that I seen her. He some kind, oh, somewhat my. pops up. I don't know where. Why she you was saw crazy. him at the chicken shack. Saw him at the chicken shack. He was looking at me obsessively. I don't know how he was, but I had an epiphany. And I'm like, oh, who's but this guy? But what did I have to do with me, though? Uh, Hold lot. on, I'm finished the story. Yeah, let me talk. Did the guy get his chicken? No, he ran. He ran. He ran. Into his car. Into the white. Peeled out. Into his white Impala. And he dipped off. And that's why I assumed she was doing so, because she was getting dressed to go to the chicken shack. But why shack. would you I mean, make that? The, ah! Hold up, hold up, to the supermarket. She, but why would you make that link that <laughs> oh you see God. this guy? Because it was he, an epiphany. Yeah, but I mean, it's weird. It is weird that he was around. No, it's weird that you jumped to that conclusion. Because where we from, we, 
could just get like that, I guess. And you really don't think that maybe she's not yours? Uh, it's just, no, I don't think that sometimes. I don't. Yeah. You think that she's not yours? Yeah, it'd be both. It'd be both. Yeah. Yeah. Do you love her? Yes, I do love her. What do you love about her? I uh, love that she's herself, and I see a lot of myself in her. Yeah. Uh, so you love yourself? <laughs> no, I do. Yes, I do. But All right, Justin, you're up first. <sighs> Justin admitted to having physical sexual acts with three women. He met two women he had sex with while going out with his sisters. One woman he had sexual intercourse in the woman's car outside, and the other was in a park. The woman in November of 2022 he slept in the house with was the same person he had sex with in a car. Uh, so he, he admitted to those things, and then we went on to ask him, while in a relationship over the past six years, besides the three women you admitted to, have you engaged in any physical sexual acts or contact with any other woman besides Etale? Um, he answered no. While in a relationship over the past six years, Besides the three women, have you admitted to, have you engaged in any sexual intercourse with any other woman besides her? He answered no. In September of 22, did you engage in any physical sexual acts or contact with the woman whose house you slept in? And you answered yes. And to those three questions, you told the truth. So um, he did sleep with the woman whose house he slept over in and he admits to having sex with uh, three other women in a car, in a park. Um, obviously, you didn't know about you those. You said you didn't have sex with nobody in the park. We had sex in the park, and I asked you, where did you find that spot? That's live, man. We were single, like. So why did you lie? Because you didn't need to know that. That's just how I felt. Yeah, but you're in a relationship with her. I didn't think we was in a relationship. Oh, and come she, on. I mean, I, you I know, know, that's easy to say. But it's an excuse, but yeah. I have my own reasons. Okay. And so here's the deal. Nobody, if you say, hey, I'm just not in love with you. And I, I'm, we have a child, but I'm not in love with you, and I don't want to be with you. You know, it might hurt her feelings, and it might be tough to get over, but nobody's going to blame you. But... When you have this quasi-relationship that's not doing anybody any good, then you just keep hurting each other. Right, right. So you have to say, I want this or I don't want this. Absolutely. So you took a lie detector to test, and we asked you, um, while in a relationship with Justin over the past six years, have you engaged in any physical sexual acts or contact with that X from the chicken shack? You answered no. Did you knowingly have an STD while pregnant in 2022? You answered no. Uh, to those two questions, you told the truth. Uh, Antalea admitted to having sex while in a relationship with Justin with a coworker in June of this year, 2023. Oh, so you did. They had they had sexual intercourse and fondled each other one time in a hotel. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm talking You know what that is. While in a relationship with Justin crazy. over the past six years, besides the one co-worker you admitted to, have you engaged in any physical sexual acts or contact with any other man besides Justin? You answered no. While in a relationship with Justin over the past six years, besides the one co-worker you admitted to, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any other man besides Justin? You answered no, and it came back to those two questions. You told the truth. Absolutely. Uh, no. The DNA test, that's important, right? Because either you're the Probably father or you're not. each other. And you took a DNA you test, did. Justin, and you are the father of Antilles. <laughs> you look dumb. Huh? You look dumb. Huh? You look dumb. I don't care. You so, look dumb. You, you, in, in a way, you're going to be connected for the rest of your lives. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, you got a daughter together. Of course. Why yeah. would I run away? There's no yeah. reason to. But you're pretty happy about that, right? Yes, that, that's, that's your yes. daughter. Yes. And if you continue to, you know, give the not quite big booty to him, 
then all you're encouraging is yeah. this to last longer and more heartbreak to come. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. All right, good luck to you. Thank you, Steve. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.